What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome back to welcome newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Libra, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a hashtag blow up reading for a sign of Libra. This can resonate if you have leads in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Hero Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general, collective reading for a sign of Libra. I encourage everybody to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node uh, signs for additional message or messages. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug in your own particular life and situation, however it resonates. If it resonates and applies for you, Libra. I haven't received any channel messages in yet, but if I do, I will let you know. We have healing. I am patient, knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. While well, I'm shuffling now, um, I just um, asking everybody's thoughts, well wishes, and prayers and meditations or whatever you do on the spiritual side. I very, very, very much appreciate it. On the spiritual side, spiritual, religious, uh, spiritual, and religious, or just whatever you practice, um, I very much appreciate it. Um, I have a child custody battle hearing uh, with my ex husband uh, Friday, July fifteenth of twenty twenty two. It's not the first rodeo with him. It's actually more like the fifth time, I think. It's either the fifth, sixth, or seventh. Um, it's definitely not the first rodeo. The first couple times he um, took me for re uh, requesting child support adjustment because I was an RN, um, and I started working as an RN in 2014, and he was requesting child support adjustment. Um, which I understood those because his wife at the time was not an RN yet, and she is now, but she wasn't then, and I understood that. But then after that, things started getting crazy. Um, it was battle after battle after battle after battle after that. Um, the last one, he accused me of child abuse, and then the one before that, about six years ago, spirit message to Jeff and Libra. Um, I had a boyfriend at the time, and he couldn't stand it, and he basically manipulated my daughter. Um, bought her a device, a phone, and manipulated her to walk around in my um, rented house at the time. Um, I live in here in the city now, and I've been here for five years, but six years ago, I lived in the country, and he manipulated my daughter to walk around with her phone, the device he bought her, to snap photos of the drawer I'd put, put his clothes in, because he lived 45 minutes away from me in Madison, um, and photos of toothpaste and toothbrush and razors of his to kind of to prove his evidence in the court of law that he lived with me. Um, so, and he had her walking around with the, the, the camera on, the streaming device. I think it was Google Duo, but it could have been some other um, streaming device, webcam. Um, and I'd look up and he'd be on, his face would be on there, on the webcam. Um, and she had, and he was telling her where to walk around. I think to see if there was men's stuff in my in my house or to see what was in my house or what have you, what have you. But anyways, it was just, it's very, it was not, it's not the current court situation. It's previous court situations, but it, it was very disheartening, very disturbing. And nobody should have to do that. Nobody should have to be succumbed to that kind of behavior. Um, and I'm just being serious. So if you could just keep me in your thoughts, prayers, and well wishes, I very much appreciate it. Number 31 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 31, we have door to value. All right. Healing. Oh, also number four. Number four as well. Healing from a surgery is significant. And healing from the truth. Healing from a surgery is significant and healing from the truth is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of healing from a surgery. So one of you guys who frequently has surgery or somebody you're connected to, 
how that resonates because energies can, can be reversed. So um, either you have, are healing from a surgery or somebody you're connected to. And one of you guys is healing from the truth in some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates. Okay. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts, golden child energy. A younger Libra is a golden child. Your psychic abilities have been abused. However, you're about to make huge changes to get away from toxicity. Okay, younger Libra. Feminine, younger Fem Libra. Okay, so you're younger Fem Libra. So I'm feeling 36 or 35 or below. You could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Fem, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. I heard you're a psychic um, and your gifts have been abused. So you have been abused. Um, your psychic gifts have been abused, i.e. you, spiritual abuse. Um, but I think you're around energy suckers is what I think. Because I heard you're around very toxic people, but you're about to make huge changes to get away from them. So I think you have intuitively picked up that you're around a bunch of energy suck succubuses, basically. And you're about to make huge changes because you know you're a golden child or you're about to figure out you're a golden child. How that resonates, younger Libra feminine. You could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. I feel you're 36, 35 or below. You plug it in, how it resonates, Libra. Younger Libra feminine. Congrats, ma'am, whoever that's for. And a Libra knows a golden child. An abused golden child. Through many series of chain events, this person's about to break away too. Okay, and another Libra knows the golden child. So um, a golden child, somebody with gifts, um, supernatural uh, gifts. Um, they're a chosen one, basically. A part of the 144,000 um, is basically what that is, uh, like a black sheep. Um, another one of you guys knows uh, one of those people. Um, I heard through many series of chain of events, this person's about to break away too. So break away from some kind of psychic abuse or abuse of a chosen one. How that resonates and applies. I am patient knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. Patience is necessary for one Libra. Patience is necessary for one Libra. So patience is necessary. Maybe one of you guys, you're not a very patient person. Maybe you're impulsive or you're just not patient. Some kind of patience energy um, is necessary in some type of situation or situations with person, people, place, or situation. I am patient knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. So patience. Could be patience on the healing, patience on the, um, for maybe patience for you, younger Fem Libra that's about to get out of the toxic situation um, that has been abused, psychically abused, ma'am. Or patience with the other um, person that has been psychically abused. How that resonates. Because psychic abuse is real. It's spiritual abuse. It really, really is. Um, it is. And it's, it's very unfair. It's unfair. I mean, there's many types of abuse for anybody who doesn't know. There's mental, physical, spiritual, financial, sexual. There's lots of type of abuses. Um, it's th th Those are never okay. And that's just the truth. A particular Libra is a counselor, therapist. A particular Libra is a counselor and a therapist is what I heard. So one of you guys is a counselor and a therapist. Um... Okay, so advocacy, advocacy energy, uh, counselor and therapist energy, um, which, I mean, there's lots of different advocacies. Uh, nurses are advocates. Um, well, police officers are supposed to be advocates, but um, depending on which officers or the law you get, I guess I should say. But um, there's lots of different advocates, um, or they're supposed to be, rather. It's not their to job title, it's how they manifest and grow their position, if anybody needs to hear that. And that's just the truth. Because I've been around a lot of low vibrational positions of a high authority. But I've been around lots of great positions of high authority, too. So I can't, you know, it's been half and half. Or, well, I've just been around a lot of great ones and not so great ones, I should say. Door to value.
A new job is very significant for a Libra. It's going to be life-changing for you. A new job is significant for a Libra. It's going to be life-changing for you. So congratulations to whoever that's for. Some kind of new job energy. I heard it's going to be life-changing for you. So congratulations, sir or ma'am, if that resonates for you. I think it's going to bring you lots of money, lots of stability, um, and that's wonderful. Money and stability is always wonderful, and that's just the truth, Royal Quill. Um, I wish that upon everybody. C A W R S. C A W R S is what I just heard. C is in cat, A is in apple, W is in watermelon, R is in rabbit, S is in sunshine. So you plug it in how it resonates. C A W R S. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped and namaste.